Hello everyone. Today's video is an attempt to provide an overview about HSMs, Hardware Security Module. In this video, we will see a quick introduction about cryptography. We will look at what is HSM. We will look at what are the different types of HSM like general purpose HSM or payment HSM. We will look at standards involved in the HSM, a quick brief about cloud HSMs and some other key points. Please note that in this video, we will not cover about different types of keys or encryption mechanisms, etc. There is a separate playlist that I have created, which specially concentrates on payments related cryptography and the link to which will appear as I speak or at the end of the video. Now let's do a quick introduction. Cryptography is everywhere. Today's web completely runs on PKI, the public key infrastructure where we all would have seen SSL or TLS certificates, etc. And many enterprise applications use this PKCS 11 for data encryption, decryptions, signature generation and verification. And when it comes to payments, it plays a very pivotal role, right? Like starting from cardholder authentication, card authentication, etc. How do we ensure if the card is valid by checking the CVC or how do we ensure if the cardholder is valid by looking at the pin and there are various card keys, session keys, everything that comes into picture in payments. And in today's work from home scenario, I'm sure we all would have used tokens to log in into the enterprise environments, etc. So cryptography is in the web, in daily use cases, in payments everywhere. So Cryptography, if I have to define, is a very fundamental block in today's systems, right? Which ensures secure communications or data protection, authenticate identities, etc. And all of this is done primarily to establish a trust. A trust between parties who are communicating with each other or to validate identities, right? So in cryptography, if you have to break down and see what are the various functions involved in cryptography, First things first are to generate, store, import, export, symmetric and asymmetric key pays, right? So keys are a very important aspect of it and how do we generate store is a very important function. Uh, the second one is about encryption and decryption of data and uh, in, there are a lot of hash functions that we need to do. There are generate and verification of signatures that are to be done, right? I mean, this is a very, uh, very small list of the various amount of cryptographic functions that are to be done. I have not covered about the different types of encryption mechanisms, etc. Right. So these are at a very, very uh, high level, a 20,000 feet level view of the various functions involved. So in all these functions, where is a hardware or a HSM involved? What is the purpose of a HSM? And by the way, this is how a HSM typically looks. Why can't we do all of this? cryptography in a piece of software itself. Why do we require a piece of hardware? Let's first look at that. The first thing is we saw that cryptography is all about establishing trust, right? So first the components that are involved in the cryptography, be it the keys or the algorithms uh, and the computations that are performed are to be done in a very, very secured environment. Any compromise in this will lead to disasters, right? So what is secure here? Secure means the environment in which the computations are performed has to be very sanct. That is the access to those environments should be allowed and the environment should not be exploitable by any virus or malware. So this is one primary reason that we have a hardware and it is not done usually in a software piece that we look at. The second reason is all these cryptographic operations requires complex uh, computations to be performed with the data and with the keys, etc. And the performance of these algorithms are very important, right? Let's, let's see if we have to look at a CVC validation. What if it takes five seconds to just validate a CVC, right? And the whole payment transaction would be timed out. So the speed or the performance of running a cryptographic algorithm is very important. The next reason is the location in which these keys are stored is to be in a very safe location. So for all of these reasons, usually we rely on a hardware device. So what is a HSM? So a HSM is a hardware appliance which has a Tyler made hardware just for cryptographic computations. 
it has its own custom built operating system and the network access to this box or the hardware appliance is very controlled so this hsm is a box or a device or an appliance which is specifically made for cryptographic computation purposes so what are the different types of hsms and the standards involved in them the first one is a general purpose hsm which is typically used in the pki environments for generating the ssl tls certificates or the private and public key pairs etc and these general purpose hsms are also used in the pkcs11 encryption uh, typically used in applications it is also used in blockchains or the standard java cryptographies that we that we see the second type of hsm is the payment hsm the payment hsm are used for all the life cycle in the payment cards right like card personalization data cvc generation validation pin generation validation pin block translation or arqcs arpcs etc so payment hsms have the card related algorithms hardwired into them that makes the performance of the hsm faster that's the primary difference between a general purpose hsm and the payment hsm so what are the standards involved in hsms the first one is the fips standard for cryptographic modules the second one is iso 15408 this is more a recent standard that has, co that has come into picture called as common criteria and you would have seen eal levels in hsms and this is provided by the standard and there are many country specific standards also that come into picture and for payment hsms there are also a set of pci standards that are to be adhered to this slide is a quick brief about the fips hsm standard there are four levels in it and the level 1 talks about the mo the cryptographic modules could be executed on general purpose machines and the level 2 talks about tamper evidence detection and role based access and uh, it should be run on a certified os the level 3 talks about additional tamper resistance responses encrypted key imports etc and the level 4 is where it talks about the advanced intrusion protection and additional physical security requirements uh, whenever you are looking any about any hsm and whenever you read about pci standards it specifies the fips level to be certified and when you look at any hsm manual it also talks about the hsm uh, the fips standard that it adheres to pci also enforces certain standards for hsm primarily on the key storage the key retention the key rotation the key distribution between different parties and how the key exchange can happen and it also talks about dual control of the hsms uh, there are multiple pci documents that talk about the hsm standards uh, starting from pci dss pci pin pci p2p pci 3ds and pci card production manuals so all of these pci guidelines talk about certain mandatory requirements for hsms i have tried to provide some important names of hsms when it comes to general purpose hsms uh, there is tail safenet encipher and shield and cloud providers like aws google also provide hsms when it comes to payment hsms there is payshield series there is atala there is futurex hsms etc this is not a full list this is just uh, a brief list of hsms a quick brief about cloud hsm these days uh, many service providers like aws google microsoft provide cloud hsms what are cloud hsms cloud hsms are hosted physical hsms by the cloud providers themselves and they provide a hsm dedicated to the consumer or or who whosoever is trying to subscribe to the hsm of the cloud provider uh, what is the advantage of it the cloud providers can provision the hardware fairly quickly and they can scale as basis the need that is there but the general maintenance of the hsm in terms of setting up the users and the keys are to be done by the end customer please don't confuse between cloud hsm and the kms services provided by these cloud providers cloud hsms are the actual physical devices whereas kms services are where typically all this key operations and the key storage is provided as a service by the cloud providers themselves some important notes hsms have the capability of storing the keys but generally the keys or the key stores are maintained outside of the hsm as well in a secured location 
all of these keys are again encrypted using a master key which only the hsm has some important reference links i will provide these links in the description of the video as well thank you for watching the video hope you learned something new from it do subscribe to the channel if you learned something new from it and i would love to hear your feedback in the form of comments as well thank you